Mr. Premier, it's a big day for Melbournians today. Could you take us through some of the announcements? Well, I can't make any announcements about that. So what you're actually saying is there's not much of a change? Yes. But Mr. Premier, would you at least admit that I have gone to some extra trouble today for you and I'm looking kind of handsome? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Premier. And what about this issue of face shields? Face shields don't meet the test of covering your nose and your mouth. So something like this, uh, still not good enough? The shield alone does not, does not work. So I should just throw this away? Yes. Chuck it in the bin? Yes. Crush it? Yes. OK, I take your point, Mr Premier. Now, what about families who are looking forward to a little bit of travel? I can't make any announcements about that. Come on, Mr Premier. We didn't all come here for nothing. Uh, at least, uh, what about Melburnians that live in the suburbs? Can they go into the city? They're not going any time soon. Now, is that because the virus has a higher rate of infection when surrounded by tall buildings? Yes. Yeah, well, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Now, would it be correct, Mr Premier, that there has been a little bit of jealousy between yourself and Professor Brett Sutton in terms of the amount of female attention that the Professor has been getting over your good self? But that isn't. Isn't it? I can't make any announcements about that. But you would have to admit that uh, Brett does have some rugged good looks. Yes. Premier, people in Melbourne have been in lockdown essentially since March. What is the honest reason for this? We don't want them to be getting into trouble. That's it? But that isn't. Sorry? So that's the advice. Is it? Yes. What is? I can't make any announcements about that. Good chat, Mr Premier. The shield alone does not, does not work. Ah, uh, you're just repeating yourself now, mate. Yes.